So today we're looking at how to do some ifs in Google Sheets with a new multi-select dropdown. So we can't use a traditional sum ifs any longer, but I'm showing you a workaround that you can use to achieve the same functionality. And so we have two different options. The first one is or, and the second one is and. So or matches any selected dropdown, and the other one, it has to match all of them. And so I'll walk you quickly through this. You can make a copy of this Google Sheet so you can see these formulas in action, play around with them. But here is the formula in text over here. And if you notice, there's just a single quote beforehand. So that way it actually displays. All right, so over here we have this or result. And so what it does is we're using a filter function. And so the filter function is returning just that column E. And then we're using this regex match like we did on our other video on filter. And that is how we're matching each one of these to any of those. And so what it's doing is it's splitting this into Alice and John, and then we're wrapping it in this backslash B, which means match the whole word. Because if you notice, we have very similar names here. So Alice and John, John also matches Johnny if you're doing a loose match. And so we had to do this backslash B in order to make it only match John and not John and Johnny. And so same thing works. We also have Anya and Tanya as well. All right, so that's what this one does is it matches any of those. So this will match any one that contains Alice or John. And so it matches this one, it matches this one, it matches this one because it has Alice, not matching because it has Johnny. And so if we actually remove Alice, you can see that total decreases there and so forth. Now, this one is a little more complicated of a formula. So I'm not going to break it all the way down. This map in Lambda is a little more complicated concept. But essentially what it allows us to do is to take each row and break it apart and make sure it matches all of the selections that we make in this cell. So what this is doing is a slight modification, but what it's doing is then it's checking each row to make sure both of those or however many you have selected match all of those. And so you can see here, we're getting a result of 432. And this is the only one that has Alice and John. So let's just change this one real quick. Change this to Alice and John. You can see now it changes to 519. Now, if we add another one, it still matches. And so what this is doing here is it's not restricting it to only where Alice and John and Alice and John, but it's saying Alice and John both have to be contained in this one. So you can see that works just like that. And so if we come down here and we added Alice, you can see it has it there as well. All right. And so finally, if you're wondering can we use this like a sum ifs where we have other criteria? Yes, you can. Now keep in mind, we're doing this inside of a filter. So you're gonna have to modify that to filter syntax. But let me show you real quick. We have a region here and let me show you how we can just add that. And so just like a filter, you would do that column and then we can just do equals H4 and then continue on like that. So obviously we need to make a selection here. So if we do northeast, then you can see that shows up and as you go through these, you can see that it cycles through. And so you can add any other conditions that you want inside this filter. And so you can either put it before this regex match or after, but you can do just like you would with a filter, any other criteria. And so we can add this down here to this one as well. Um, and this one ends up with a no result. Let's go to northeast and there we go with that 432. So now we're pulling this one back in. If we go to southeast, we should have that 87 there. And so that's how you can do multiple criteria in that. So that way you can mimic more of the sum ifs, but using these multi select dropdowns. All right, so that's how that works. And again, you can download a copy of this template in the link in the description below. You can play around with this and let me know if you come up with any other use cases, any weird things that you find as we navigate this new territory with these multi-select dropdowns. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. As always, have a great day.